The other night I found the laugh control track that somehow punched me in the heart of my miracle. What could it be? I wondered why this mystery, this ghost of my life, would show up and stare into the heart of me. Babies, I'm living on miracles. I turned away from it and I thought to be the rudder of someone's ecstasy. The existential sound of that, the envelope that creaked and opened with the tear of the heart, the pumping blood that would fall apart before my fingerprints were even known, the juries of stone and configuration asked me to dance. Can we raise this up a little? I thought somehow the mathematics of my life, the things I pull together to make sure what I'm doing, the good of it, the known of it, the storehouse of the attic of my regret would come and as a bet taken would tap me on my shoulder and pull me over so I could laugh like a child. Someone, I said, anyone out there can see the advocacy of my heart was that the best of me falls apart before my number is called. Deep into that synchrosy would come for me night in the casket of my memories and wake me up, shake me, for I had too much alcohol. My heart was beating like a drum somewhat buried alive, and the jive of it all was it forgot my name. Time for me in the circus of someone's curtain to be pulled and then revealed me to a cold, hard moon. The spoon of my life was in a bowl. I was banging against its side, looking for rescue. Will someone please call my stretcher bearers? Pull me off my knees and shove me into the miracle of poetry. Baby. I'm living on miracles. I can't help but think the rooms of my life where I have come for so many years to bow down, to wait for that jury to come and pronoun me and make me somehow a skywriting miracle. I couldn't find whatever was systematic in my mind to find an even sense so I wouldn't have to report it over and over to a heart that doubted the blood pumping through me like a Freudian rodent. Darlings, I'm living on miracles. Empiricals? Well, okay, I can touch them to see as I peek through the mirror of efficacy. What is it I find, the lovely plastic rose of mine that cheats me? Its thorns invite me. Sexuality, I might say, the diaper of my regret is always filled with air. No experience. I bow down to it like a dog waiting to be fed. And then I spring up as somehow I've pleased God and I will be welcomed there, gated community of integrity. I'm so tired of being me. I look at other things. I made myself a wanted poster. For a couple of bucks, you could show up and poke me in the rib. And I would bend over wise like a laugh track of surprise and make you feel wonderful. All you had to do was stick around for an extra minute. And somehow, I never got beyond 59 seconds. Ouch. Dance a while, smile. Hold me closer than I thought I could be and yet don't interrupt my breathing. That keeps me alive. The jive of my life is I somehow roll these dice of opportunity. They come back at me like a boomerang. Poke me where I am just vulnerable. Enough for a new life to become, a new birth to become, a Galapagos' egg to broke and break. Make all of my mistakes a certain kind of livery. Latin, sweet. Silky lapels hugging me until the miracle of my existence gets free. I watch it leave me. I even wave as if somehow an angel with rented wings is taking on the recorded soul of my life. And when I need most rescue, it will write down in this book, was he worth it or not? I'm the Bunsen burner of forget-me-nots.
dance? I dance? You like to dance? Ask me. You like to say something of truth in this ear? This one records whatever you say. This one forgets it. Which ear is yours, I wonder? Which horn do I blunder through waiting for the music to come and rescue me? I always need help. I take the bait, and like a mistake, I say, that wasn't me. And the hook of it, the blood of it, finds its wings and floats behind me, pushing me forward, making me live my life. Am I over now? <laughs> Good night.